In previous sessions, we looked at calculating the line of best fit by using the formula y is equal to a plus bx. And we have formula that you will get in the exam that tell us how to calculate the value of a and the value of b. Now we can apply this line of best fit calculation to our time series analysis as well. If we have a time series with time on the x-axis and sales on the y-axis and perhaps our time series looks something like that. We want to establish the line of best fit through our time series. Now we can use our regression analysis formulae to calculate the line of best fit where in time series the equation of our line will be t is equal to a plus bt, where t is our trend, the little t is the time period, a is equal to our sales at time period 0, and b is equal to our increase or decrease in sales per quarter or per month, depending on what time periods we're looking at. So if we look at the same exercise we've been considering in previous sessions, except this time we just take our x values to be our time periods and our y values to be our sales figures for each time period. Instead of calculating our moving averages, we'll use our regression analysis technique to establish the line of best fit um, through our time series. So remember, if we're applying regression analysis, we need to calculate the values for A and B using our two formulae. So first of all, you need to work out the sum of our x values. the sum of our y values, the sum of our xy values, and the sum of our x squared values. Now, if you do the calculations through, you should get sum of x is equal to 78. So that's just the sum of our time periods, where we have time period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So the sum of our x values is 78. The sum of our y values, or our sales figures, comes to 380. If you do your calculation for the sum of our x, y values, you should get 2720. And finally, the sum of our x squareds come to 650. Our n value then, the number of data points we have, we have information for 12 different time periods. So n is equal to 12. If we insert this information then to our equation for b, we'll get b is equal to n times the sum of x, y. So n ti 12 times 2720 minus the sum of x times the sum of y. And divided by n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of our x's squared. Punch that all into your calculator and work out the value for b. You should get b is equal to 1.75. Finally then, our a value will be the sum of our y values, 380 divided by 12 minus b times the sum of our x values divided by n, which is 12. So our a figure is 20.3. Given that, we can say that our trend or our y value will be 20.3 plus 1.75 times t. And we can use this line of best fit then to calculate what our trend figure will be 
at some time period into the future. So if we wanted to work out our last known time period is Q4 of year 3. So in year 4, Q1, that'll be the 13th time period. So our trend... For Q4, excuse me, for Q1, year 4, time period is equal to 13. So our trend will be 20.3 plus 1.75 times 13. So our trend is equal to 43.05. We wanted to forecast our actuals for Q1 year 4, then we would just need to adjust our trend for the seasonal variation.